What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just going to make this real quick and then just we're going to dive right into the catching side of things. Uh, went out to uh, Shadow Cliffs about a week ago and I tell you what guys, they, they hadn't stocked in over a week and fish were, you just see fish rising all over the lake and it was just popping. I mean it was, it was gangbusters uh, fishing out there. Um, I used a number of different finesse baits. Uh, that was my what I was really focused on. Were, were the finesse baits both uh, trolling? So I was uh, kayak finesse trolling, I guess, as well as on the uh, bait casting finesse side of things. It was all about the finesse baits. That's what they wanted. That's what they were getting. Um, and I tell you what, for these, you know, uh, they were all about the same size. They weren't weren't big. Uh, they weren't small. But they were all very, very good fighters, very aggressive fish. Um, so we'll get right into it. But I tell you what, guys, get out to Shadow Cliffs. It's hot right now. It is banging. Um, and uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. I'll go ahead and show some clips of some of the fish I caught um, and uh, what baits I used. I'll, I'll go ahead and put on the, each clip of what bait I was using as well as uh, color, uh, speed if I have it, and any other various information that'll help you guys out um but get out there guys it's popping all right let's get to it all right guys welcome back to the channel bay area bfs here we are at shadow cliffs today shadow cliffs reservoir in pleasanton california and uh, this lake has been closed for the past few years i think it was because of drought conditions the water level was really low um, and so it looks like this year they just reopened and I haven't been here again I haven't been here in a few years so I'm excited to get back out here it's a smaller lake uh, it's cute um, so we're just going paddle drive today don't have to worry about any wind conditions today I want to try to accomplish something. I want to try to catch a trout, uh, well, several trout, um, each with a different method. So black, they like they like the little feather jig. Let's see that again. There we go. Look at that, we got a strike already. Not even three minutes into the troll. Maybe even two. Thank you. 
Woo, jumper. You hear that drag? Feels like a little bit better fish. That's a better fish. All right. A little pretty. There you go, and off you go. Thank you for playing. Once again, I'm Thomas Boyan. back-to-back -back action. And they're all about the same size, guys. Come here, come here. And they're all about the same size. Go.
All right, so the thing that's in common with these two bases that I'm using, because obviously the action is much faster now than it was before. I was using a Fire Tiger before. But the common color between these two is, so still top of the top water, top of the water column. And uh, both of these are, have, the spoon is gold with some red, and this right here has got gold, got a golden hue to it as well. And they've been on this one just all day. So I think it's the uh, gold color is what they're liking. on guys you guys see that jump we got a jumper <clears throat> we got it on the other side this time this is a Thomas buoyant spoon skinny guy. Alright, so we know that they like the spoon. Got the spoon running uh, 6 or some feet back. Actually, I think it's 76. 76 feet back. I was doing about one six one seven. It's the gold and red Thomas Bland. Fish on. Let's see, do we got a jumper? Back to back strikes. Came off, that's right. Felt like a small one. All right, just switched spoons, gave the uh, dynamic HD brown trout lure a break. We got some overcast coming in, so I just switched over to a copper Thomas Buoyant. It's going to put off more flash. So that's what's on this one. And this one we got the gold and red Thomas Buoyant. Let's see what happens. I can't 
believe how many we have missed slash lost. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the copper. There's the copper. There's the copper I was telling you about. Just threw that bad boy on. But for the size, these are some hard fighting fish. Small and skinny, but fun nevertheless. These are such hard fighters. But I think the switch to copper worked. Well, I know it worked, but uh, I think it made sense. going on guys so changed it up a little bit the uh, the bite has really died and uh, so I decided to go a little bit more on the finesse side so I put a uh, micro chatter bait and put a long white plastic worm uh, almost in some nail one that's a decent one too definitely one of the bigger ones okay just really really died and um, so I thought I would go a little bit more finesse and sure enough that's what we got here so yeah that's what it is guys a micro finesse with the white plastic on it Oh, 
worm. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna hold it, but it's a small guy. Thank you very much. And off he goes. Yeah, so he hit the chatterbait again. Let's see. All right, guys. It's been a heck of a day. Came out here, got some redemption for the uh, past couple of days of skunks. Or not skunks, but just really slow fishing days. Um, Today we ended up with uh, 10 landed. Uh, all of them are trout, fish for trout. But yeah, we, we landed 10 of them. I can't even count the number. I, maybe, maybe five, six, seven that we missed. I still don't understand how a fish can pull a dragon. <laughs> all of a sudden, uh, come off the hook. But, uh, missed or lost, I should say. Um, but it was a good day of fishing, guys. You know, we use a lot of different techniques out here today, uh, both BFS uh, as well as trolling. And the key today was really is kind of a blend of BFS and trolling, right? It was really the finesse baits. They really wanted small uh, baits at slower speeds, um, and they were really particular about the presentation. Uh, but we did well, you know, we got, we did, uh, like I said, we landed at, I want to say 10, maybe 11. Um, caught them on uh, Dynamic HD Little Minnows, we caught them on Thomas Boyant Lures, uh, caught them on the, uh, uh, I don't know, it's like a black woolly bugger, it's a feather jig. Um, missed a lot on the uh, Notorious Jig, the little stick bait. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, chatterbait. We caught quite a few on the chatterbait. Um, which, I, I can tell you what, the chatterbait might just be the perfect bait. Not only can you cast it, you know, if you have the micro ones, cast it with your uh, ultralight gear and have success. But you can also troll it when you get tired. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it, I, I think it might be the perfect bait. You can use whatever plastics you want with it for the, the tail um, but yeah it, good day today guys good day thank you so much for tuning in please 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 if you wouldn't mind I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button subscribe really helps me out helps the channel out um, you know try to come out here and produce as much content as I can for you guys kind of show you guys the ropes in terms of uh, what I'm doing out here um, but yeah again really appreciate if you guys would do that um all right guys until next time fish on guys